Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, number sense and factors um, and take that a, a little bit the opposite direction and actually introduce an idea of multiples as being somehow related to factors. Um, and the lowest common multiple is something we often want to find uh, along with highest common factor. And the lowest common multiple of two numbers is the smallest number that is a multiple of both numbers. Now, multiple sounds like the word multiply. So multiples are really the answers we get to multiplication. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 24, 30, 36. And, you know, it's kind of like counting up by, uh, by 6. And the same thing for 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. 48, 56, and so on, 64, 8 times 8. So it's the answers to the multiplication, or we continually add those numbers over and over. Um, and what the lowest common multiple is, is looking at which number do they have in common that is the lowest. So we can see, for instance, uh, both of the numbers, 6 and 8, have 48 as a multiple. Um, but that's not necessarily the lowest number. The lowest number that is a multiple of both is 24. Lowest common multiples are uh, very useful when we get to adding fractions later and we have to uh, find a new common denominator. We often want it to be the lowest common denominator, not uh, the, a higher one. Uh, so we want to use some lower numbers there. And that's the lowest common multiple, sometimes written as the LCM. Uh, one thing to note is that we, we use the word lowest, but notice 24 is larger than both 6 and 8. Just like when we had the highest common factor of a number, it was lower than the original number. So that can be confusing sometimes for students, that the lowest common multiple is actually a larger number. It's that the thing we need to understand is multiples mean that it's always larger. 6, 12, 18, it's always larger. And factor, for highest common factor, are things that are always smaller. So it kind of is the inverse, the opposite of what we might think. So be careful when you're using those. It can be easy to make mistakes. Okay? So lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. Now, is there a way to do that a little bit shorter instead of having to list out every multiple of some numbers? Absolutely, there's a shortcut. Could you imagine having to list out all of the multiples of 60 and 72? 60 might not be too bad. 60, 120, 180, and so on. But 72, 144, 216, 200, and, you know it just starts to get pretty tough. And then having to go until we even find one that they have in common, you might be doing that for a very, very long time. So the shortcut is do the same thing that we did for the highest common factor. Find the product of primes. We're going to find the product of primes for each number. That's the same as finding the highest common factor shortcut. Two, instead of finding the prime factors they have in common, we're going to find the unique ones, meaning it, all of the ones they have. You'll see what that means in a little bit. Okay? And three, find their product. Okay? You might want to take a moment to pause before I hit transition to the next slide uh, so you can get these written down. So, LCM of 60 and 72. Remember, we want to find the product of primes. So we, we've been doing this, factor tree it. If we factor tree out 60, uh, then the product of primes is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, or 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5. And if we factor tree out uh, 72, there we go, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Those are the product of primes, very similar to the highest common factor. And in fact, we're going to write those in the same way. Don't forget, we want to spread it out. We want to get all the twos together and the threes and the fives. So we're going to write it out. And before, what we would do is we would look for any of the unique ones that are on 
the uh, between the numbers, so they both had to have two. They both had to have the three. But for the lowest common multiple, what we want to say is if one of them has a two, we keep it. And if one of them has a second two, we keep it. And if only one of them has the third two, we keep the third two. In fact, we take each of the unique ones. They don't both have to have five, only one of them. This gives us a lot more building blocks. And when we look at this, we multiply it out. Two times two times two is eight. And three times three is nine. So eight times nine is 72. And 72 times five is equal to 360. You would have to go quite a ways out in your multiples to get to 360. This is a much quicker way of finding the lowest common multiple. Again, instead of only choosing numbers that they both have in common, we choose each one of the unique possibilities.